I've mixed all three soil samples. So this is sample A and I have to let it wait to settle. But while we're waiting for it to settle, we can do our pH. Here's sample C and here's sample B. So we're waiting for all of that uh, to settle. But in the meantime, we can do our pH. So to do the pH, we're gonna use these test kits here. And the pH one uses the actual soil. So we're gonna take a little bit of soil and we're gonna fill it to the fill line, which is a little dotted line right here. All right, and this one I'm going to use distilled water. So I have a beaker of distilled water here and I'm gonna use a pipette. And I'm gonna fill up the water. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna empty the reagents. So the reagents are a powder inside this capsule. And sometimes the capsules are a little bit hard to open. All right, careful not to spill the powder. All right, so the powder goes in here and <clears throat> so I have my soil, my powder, and now I'm gonna fill up with distilled water to the top line. And I'm gonna put this lid on, and now I'm gonna shake it and wait for a color change. So the color change might take about 10 minutes to get the color change on here, but I've gotta dissolve all the powder. So those are the reagents that are gonna give the reaction to measure the amount of hydrogen ions, ions or um, hydroxy ions in the soil. So I'm gonna do that for all three of these soil samples.